Well, as the push for tax and health care reform heats up, RNC officials are optimistic about the Republican Party's future, despite some legislative struggles. One America's Emerald Robinson has more from Washington. Greetings from the front lawn of the White House. It's a big week for both the White House and the Republican Party this week. The president will unveil the framework of his tax plan as the vice president travels to Alabama to support Luther Strange Monday night before Tuesday's primary. All this as the GOP makes a last ditch effort for Obamacare repeal. I sat down with RNC surrogate and Trump 2020 campaign advisory board member Bruce Lavelle to get an insider's perspective. I think at the end of the day, there are a lot of folks in Alabama who voted for President Trump who are with Judge Moore, at the end of the day, they're not going to take one election where they agree or disagree with the president and turn off from a thousand other good other things that they're going to agree with the president. Lavelle explained the president's reasoning and backing strange. We do know that Obamacare, we do know the tax cut, we do know there's some very major things out there that we need a champion to push this agenda forward. And I believe the president feels that it's Luther Strange. He says the RNC feels confident no matter the results of Tuesday's runoff. At the end of the day, we will have a Republican champion in that seat. A candidate who he says will support the president's plan for tax reform, which the president will unveil Wednesday in Indiana. That will include big cuts, especially for small business owners like Lavelle, from 39% to 25%. For me to pay out 37.6% tax, last year. The burdensome tax that's killing the, the 28 million small businesses across the country like myself. And this is why I'm here today. He says that tax cuts and repealing Obamacare is a step in the right direction for bringing back more American made goods. Now, the Senate Finance Committee will hold a hearing on the latest repeal effort tomorrow. I asked Lavelle if the failure to pass a repeal so far will have an effect on Republicans in the 2018 midterms. And he said, just look at the numbers. Chairman, Ronna McDaniel, awesome lady, record fundraising for the RNC, 80 plus million. She literally holds the record on raising the cash. When people believe in you, they, they give. And despite some of the negativity out there about the RNC, but I'm more optimistic because once again, the numbers speak for themselves in terms of how much money she's raised and how much the RNC has raised. Lavelle also said that as a longtime Republican, he realizes there's ups and downs, but he says the silent majority is still out there and he has confidence in this president thanks to the numbers, the record breaking Dow and just over 4% unemployment. Also this week, more numbers as the Commerce Department is set to release its final estimate for the second quarter GDP. In Washington, Emerald Robinson, One American News.